Or do you say to some of us that still listen to music? <coughs> well, <coughs> the music, this is the Edan of the Shaitan. That's what music is. This is the Edan of the Shaitan. I remember my earlier months of being a Muslim. I remember I got into this brother car. No Muslim friend of mine, because you know I'm not too holy for my friends. I still, you know, associate myself to a certain degree. But when I got in this car, he had the radio. I couldn't tell the brother what to do with his car, but he had this song playing. And I remember when he dropped me off at the mass shit. I could not get my kushur intact. That song was just in my head. Subhanallah. It took me a minute. I had to go make wudu again. I had to try to purify my intentions. And this is what the music does. And when you constantly listen to the music, this will be the statement on your tongue, rather than la ilaha illallah. You never heard that story about the guy that had the car accident? Some of y'all might have heard that story about the brother that had the car accident. And in his partially conscious state, all he was doing was singing a song. Muslim. Couldn't say la ilaha illallah to save his life at that moment. Allah knows best what he was singing, but it wasn't what was going to save him. And when you enter the grave and you ask these three questions, you're not going to be asked what's song number 10 on Lil Wayne's third album. You're not going to be asked that. You're not going to be asked that. Who's the best footies player? Nobody's going to ask you that. So we have to stay in tune. I'm telling you, this is a, this is a, this is a test. Treat this dunya like you treat the hotel. I'm in a hotel right now. I use the soap, throw it out, I brush my teeth, spit anywhere, I just rinse anything. It's not my place. Nobody comes to the hotel and hang up on a law sign and make it home like, yeah, this is home. This is not home, you're visiting. Treat the dunya like you treat the hotel. Oh. 